So a very good after or a very good morning to y'all. When I say morning, I actually mean morning. Like it is 11 here in Chicago. So good day, everyone. It's the earliest I've been up in a while. So today will be a cleaning day in preparation for my DIY project that I will be starting tomorrow. So I should be starting that probably not super early in the day because I know my mom and dad have a few things to do before they can take me to go and get all the supplies. So, but I will be starting that tomorrow so you guys will probably get like some time lapses of me like sanding or whatever I'm doing. I'm excited to start that though. And yeah, like I'm just, I just want to dance. Cause I can't wait to do that. So <laughs> For like all of yesterday, all I did was watch DIYs on YouTube. And I'm currently watching a DIY right now. Like, YouTube is the holy grail. Like, I'm not saying that because I'm a self-proclaimed YouTuber now. But because I just think, like, YouTube is perfect. It's like Google. Like, they do go hand in hand, right? Like, Google owns YouTube. So, duh. But... <laughs> Dude, literally YouTube and Google go hand in hand. They're both my best friends because I can Google anything that I need to know. And then I can YouTube it to get the visual. Boom. That should be like their new motto. Okay, no, because it... Anyways, I got to charge my camera because it's blinking on red. So I fell asleep last night. Did not charge it. Oh, yeah. Hey, mommy. My camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I have to charge my camera because it's about to go dead on me. So I'm gonna finish watching DIYs. So I am about to go outside and kind of go and <coughs> meet my niece because she's walking home from cheerleading practice and it's about to go dark outside. Like, it's about to get dark, so I'd rather me watch her and know that she's okay versus just letting her walk home. It's cold out here. So usually my mom picks her up from after school programs, but she has to go somewhere and she's running late. So I figured I'd be a good auntie and I'd go pick her up. So that's what good aunties do. You know? Plus her school isn't that far from our house. I don't know if I'll tell you guys, but I'm like super... I hate walking this route because I'm like afraid of dogs that aren't mine. I got tech when I was younger by dogs so this made me like super paranoid <laughs> around other people's dogs if they're not mine I don't really like them unless they're small or really nice like if Luca wasn't my dog oh my gosh I so would not like my dog at all like I would be so afraid of him and I would hate him that's why I want to get him training in case there are people out here like me like I don't want people to be afraid of my dog that's terrible so got the mongrel she was waiting in her school office thinking that my mom was coming to pick her up. But her phone went dead before my mom could call her and tell her. She wasn't picking her up. So she was going to be sitting at the school until my mom got back. Which was like, no. Why didn't you just have you call? Oh, I'm going to call my mother. Huh? I'm going to call my mama. I don't know grandma number by heart. Really? No, don't. You know my number by heart? No. All my, all my, number, all my numbers is in my phone. Yeah, but that's not safe. Like, you have to learn. See this generation, you guys. When I was younger, I, mean, I had cell phones on and off, but like a constant cell phone out. So I had to remember my house phone number, my mom's cell phone number. They, oh, I just put it in my phone. You know, if I ever need it, I got it. But what if your phone goes dead? Then you're SOL. Right? I guess. Exactly. Well, my so, phone always charged. So. But it wasn't charged today. So it's better to remember your phone numbers in case your phone dies or breaks so you have them in case of an emergency. I can't stress this enough. I used to write them down on a little piece of paper in case I need it to like call home. <sighs> Crazy. Okay guys, so it is, I was supposed to make yesterday a cleaning day, but I was being a lazy bum. So, it's time for me to clean now. 
I have to clean this mess of a room. I will show you guys, but I'm actually kind of embarrassed. Like, it's not that bad, because I never let my room get that bad, but it's just not. No, no, no. It's time to clean. So, I'm about to put on some tunes and dance around and clean until I'm done. <sighs> Someone save me. Someone clean for me. I really wish I was, like, rich. <laughs> I would so hire someone to clean my entire house if I was rich. Okay, so I am not even nowhere near done. <laughs> but I... Okay, so I hate that my dirty clothes are always so messy in the hamper, but I figured out a way to make it less messy and a little bit more OCD. Like, moi. Basically, I am folding up my dirty clothes. I know. It's a mess. But it, it, I don't have closet space right now because my hinges are off my door, so it's a pain in the butt to try to open my closet. So, I just leave my dirty clothes, like, somewhere in the corner in the um, hamper, and it's just really, like, an eyesore. So now, with, like, me just, like, folding up my dirty clothes, and so I do laundry, it looks a lot better than just leaving it as it is. So I think I'm going to continue to do that. And I found another notebook of mine where I'm going to write supplies uh, that I need for my room and just kind of keep up with that. And then stuff that I plan on doing in the future for YouTube. So that is kind of like the list that I just made and nothing is checked off except candles. Cause you guys know I got a lot of those. <laughs> okay guys, so I am still unfortunately cleaning my room because I am a bit of a perfectionist. Yeah, here you go. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So it's gonna take me a while to finish, but it's about 12 o'clock here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. But before I wanna show you guys what I'm working with. Still got a bit of a ways to go. But I am gonna go ahead and read you guys a quote from the world of quotes. I really love doing that, I'm so dorky. Uh, it says, I am a woman above everything else. And that is Jackie Kennedy, the famous Jackie O. She's so gorgeous, or was so gorgeous. Like, she's just amazing. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and bid you guys adieu and say thanks so much for watching. If you're watching, comment, like, subscribe if you want to. And I will see your beautiful souls tomorrow. Bye.